Hi everyone, today we're going to make banana bread and these are the hardware tools that you'll need. So um, as a first step, um, we're going to be making our eggs. So of course during, um, well having a vegan diet means that you don't eat eggs and that does interfere with baking sometimes, the stability of baking. So uh, what we'll do is we'll put in some uh, flax seeds here and these are uh, ground kind of, it says broken flax seeds but yeah ground flax seeds and so there are two eggs in this recipe so it's going to be two tablespoons of flax seeds to four tablespoons of water. So there's two there and then we're going over to the sink here. And then two, three, and then four. And then uh, you will mix this and then just allow this to sit uh, for 15 minutes to congeal and you'll see its egg form. If it's not, just add a little bit more liquid and make it like the consistency of an egg. All right, and then the next step uh, for the recipe is going to be to go ahead and mash your bananas. So for banana bread, you want to use older bananas if they're available. Of course, you can use fresh bananas, but the older the bananas are, the more moist the bread will be and the more flavorful it will be. So here I have some nice, very brown bananas, and they are perfect, especially if you have ones that are like even completely black. You can throw them into this banana bread and still use them. So it's great in terms of like minimizing food waste especially as it relates to bananas. So just unwrap it and put it in a bowl here and then we're gonna mash it with our fork. So now you just press it in with a fork. I prefer to do it with a fork. I've tried to use like potato mashers and other things like that, but uh, they're just not as good. A fork does the job just fine and especially because they're old, they're pretty easy to mash up. If they're fresher bananas, it'll be a little bit more challenging to do this part. But it's still possible, even if your bananas are very fresh, they just can't be green. Okay. I think I'm pretty happy with this. There are a few small chunks of bananas in it, but for the most part, it's a pretty kind of smooth soup. That's what you're looking for, to kind of turn them into to this. So, there we go. Okay, so now uh, we're going to start putting together the actual mix for the banana bread. So I'm going to add a cup of sugar here. Uh, bananas are already pretty sweet though, so it may not be necessary for yourself to add a whole cup of sugar. You can add a half a cup if you want it a little bit less sweet, um, or three-fourths of a cup if you want it a little bit less sweet, but not too little. You know, it's up to you though. For me, I just put a cup because I always like it to be more sweet. Um, and then to that, uh, we're going to add half a cup of oil. It, a lot of recipes calls for butter, but I prefer to put in oil because it is liquid at room temperature, so the cake stays soft uh, when it's still sitting at room temperature. So a little hack there. So that's a fourth of a cup. And now that's a half a cup. And then we'll just whisk this up. All right. And we'll add a little bit of vanilla extract because I like to add my flavoring kind of at this point. So half a tablespoon of vanilla extract. And then I'm also going to add half a teaspoon or well, a quarter teaspoon about of salt. And then to this, I'm gonna go ahead and toss in our bananas because of course this is our flavoring here. We'll just mix this through. All right, so now after about 15 minutes, you can see we have our flax egg ready, and it's very similar to the texture of an egg. So there we go. 
so that will bind everything together. Um, it won't influence the flavor or texture of your food, just so you know. Even though mine are broken, the ground ones are even better. You don't really see them as much. Um, but don't worry, it doesn't really affect how it tastes. It still tastes just the same as normal banana bread. And then um, on this part, you're good to go. You can mix this as much as you want. But as soon as you add in the flour, you really need to minimize the amount that you're mixing, just enough until it's combined. Otherwise, you'll create a very tough um, kind of chewy bread. So to this now, we're going to add in one and a half cups of flour just until it's incorporated. So there's that, one and a half cups of flour. And then uh, to that, we're gonna add a teaspoon of baking soda. So this is half a teaspoon first, and then a whole teaspoon. And then with vegan baking, I like to add in a little bit more baking powder because I've noticed that the rise sometimes doesn't come around as easily. So I'll add in an additional half a teaspoon just to ensure that it rises. Okay, and then we'll just mix this until it's fully combined. And that um, should be good. And then we're gonna take this mixture and we're gonna add it to um, a parchment paper lined loaf pan. So uh, we're gonna bake this in a loaf form. Uh, you can also make cupcakes from it. The loaf form takes about uh, 55 to 60 minutes to cook completely all the way through. You need to insert a toothpick and be sure that it's coming out clean. Um, otherwise, you can make cupcakes with these, and it takes about 20 minutes to do that. It's a little bit faster. If you're looking for like a quick breakfast in the morning, definitely make cupcakes and don't make a loaf, because it takes quite some time to bake a loaf. But I have like extra time on my hands at the moment, and I prefer the, the nice crust that you get on the loaf because it bakes for so long. Um, you get, it gets very dark on the outside, but then it gets really soft and moist, that uh, crust. And I just love it. That's what banana bread to me is all about. And be sure that anything that you may have spilled like kind of on the outsides is taken care of and that it's evenly placed in the pan. And it looks good to me. As you can see, it's evenly uh, inside of our pack. And then we're gonna bake this in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 55 to 60 minutes until a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean. Okay. So we're gonna take the banana bread out of the oven now. It's been cooking for 55 minutes. Okay, so now um, we've allowed the banana bread to cool for uh, about an hour, uh, an hour and 30 minutes. And I'm gonna pop it out of the pan. Uh, the reason why we put the parchment paper is so that it's just nice and easy. And of course your crust uh, remains in place. And I can see, you can see it's glistening. It's already nice and moist and uh, it feels nice and soft. It's a great like texture, not too dense, not too, too soft, it's just right. Just how I like my banana bread. All right, I'll just cut a slice off here. I'll let you see the inside, the texture. You can see a few flax seeds through it. It does affect the appearance a little bit if they're not um, small enough, but yes. And I love the end piece. I love like a little extra um, crust on it here. Mm. Okay, yes. It's really, really, really good. If you let it sit overnight in an airtight container, it'll just keep getting more and more moist as the bananas absorb into this, um, into the flour. But it's really, really good. I encourage you to give it a try. And until the next video, bye for now.